Hello, and today Charlotte's joining me for a nice little, probably rare one. I am. Yep. Ahi penna, penna? Pina. Pina, penna. It means feather. Feather, yep. It's from Brazil. One of our mates was traveling over there and was at a market and ended up grabbing some and yep. bringing them back. And they look like little feathers. Well, that one looks like a crow. Caw, caw. <laughs> But feather, okay. Pods, about five or so centimetres long, about one centimetre wide. Hold those. Plant, amazing producer. We've just constantly been picking this the whole season. It gets to about 90 centimetres or so tall. And lots and Nearly lots the of same things. wide. And yeah, it's just had, oh, I don't know, four or five flushes of pods. It just keeps potting up. And now it's winter, so it's lost quite a few leaves, but it's still... It's still awesome. Yeah. Big one, please. Thank you. So, yeah. I'll pick that one. That one looks seriously good. You want to try that one? Yeah. Okay. So, here we have it. The Ahi Pena. 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 The feather. The Archie feather. feather. Yeah. All right. I'm interesting to see what this was like because he said it was pretty good. A bit citrusy. Yeah. Fairly thin wall. He pickles them. I know that he loves, he says it's his favourite chilli to pickle. I'm getting a slight saltish tinge as well coming through. Yeah. Mm. Ah, here comes the heat. I didn't think there was any there for a second, but it's just getting me right in the back of the throat. It's fairly mild. Well, at the moment it is. Yeah, the flavour. I like that flavour. Sort of citrusy and a, sort of a saltish kind of a tinge to it. Not a lot. No, no, no. No, no. But it could be nearly like an unripened apple. Yeah. As well. So. Mm. But nice flavour. Yeah. Sort of fairly seedy, but you can't really notice the seeds you're eating them. But it's quite nice, actually. It is. Hmm. I don't get a lot of heat, though. No, no, no. It's I can see why he pickles them, though. Yeah. Hmm. So there you go. If you're into pickling, that'd be a good one. Hey. It's mainly hitting me in the back of the throat and the top palate at the back. It's staying sort of fairly in the back of the mouth, the heat. But I really like the look of those parts. Yes. Like a little feather. Yeah. So back at them from Brazil. Yep. Yeah. Cool one. Ahi Pina. Pena. Pina. <laughs> Well, my Portuguese isn't crass hot, so mm. I think it it's was It's a very a pretty, yeah. very pretty looking plant. It is. We call it Ahi feather, so that's easy. But yeah. And you will get a lot. And oh, if you live yeah. like on the Northern Hemisphere, it would be a good one because it has a long season. So... Well, you can get them in the southern hemisphere as well. Yeah. <laughs> They'll just go a bit longer into winter. Yeah. But yeah, that's the back of them for you. Yeah. But yeah, I still have a nice flavour through the mouth. The heat sort of moved forward a bit, but it's mainly concentrated in like the back of the throat. Although I can feel it just creeping forward and it's like the top palate and slightly on the tongue. but mainly at the back of the throat. Yeah, what would you use it for? Definitely pickling. Yeah, that's too. Yeah. 
or for people that aren't into heat, it's four out of ten, four to five out of ten heat wise. Four. I wouldn't give it more than four. Yeah. So there you go. If you're not so. into the really hot stuff, you like pickling ones, definitely. And it's a great looking plant. I don't know if you cramped. I don't know if I'd be for space. Yeah, if you put some stakes in, you can keep it fairly small. Oh, I suppose, small. keep it compacted. Yeah. But yeah, being a Bakerton, they do get kind of gangly. Yeah. But an awesome producer, so that'd be perfect for pickling because you'd just be getting jars and jars and jars. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll give it a couple of minutes. Yeah, and come back. And come back and see how it goes with the ahi. Pinna, pinna. Pinna. I think that too, that was pre correct pronounced. Yeah. All right. We'll see you soon. We will. Catch us. Hello. And we're back five minutes later with the Aji Pina, Feather Aji. Aji yeah. Feather from Brazil. I, I just ate a bit of the placenta in the bread because to like see how it was heat wise and I yeah. agree with you. It hit straight away back of the throat and And it basically just stayed there. Yeah. It moved forward slightly but mainly yeah. got a bit of a back of the and throat. And it had though. a good heat actually. Yeah well like four or five as you yeah, said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a really nice heat. It's yeah. like yeah. I'm I'm not into the rule stingy grimy no, ones no. and it was just nice and sort of an exquisite kind of a heat nice yeah. and light so again anyone could could have them yeah grow them for sure I they mean, grow really easily too they yeah. just haven't done anything they just sat there and it's just gone berserk so yeah 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 another of the awesome bactums mm. from brazil it actually looks like a little feather doesn't it yeah, well, that's probably why they're called that. Yeah. But yeah, we should go tracking through markets in Brazil. Might be able to find some really, really <laughs> we cool We should ones. make a TV show where we like travel around the world. and Trying different chilies. Yeah, that yeah. would be great. I don't know if anybody would. Well, there's a lot of the mainstream ones, yeah. but we've gotten a lot like from India and that, that are actually from little villages. Yeah. So who knows where this is from, who originally got it. But yeah, I'm glad they went to that market and grabbed it. Yeah. Because now we have it. We have it. Yeah. And we're going to try and pickle it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. There's enough on the plant. <sighs> All right. So there you have it. The ahi pena. Pena. Feather. The feather ahi. Yeah, yeah. All right. Thanks everyone for watching and thanks baby for joining in. You are so welcome. And we'll catch us all later.